don't send Ghanaian soldiers to die in any useless ECOWAS war against Niger, as you do in Ketia, once Akufuado. Yeah, so we've seen what is happening here, how, uh, you know, ECOWAS have approved, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, they, they should deploy military to intervene in Niger coup if they are not going to willingly restore Mohamed Bazoum as the legitimate president of Niger. Okay, and in alignment with that, Ghana government has agreed with the rest of ECOWAS president and heads of state to deploy ECOWAS military to Niger Republic. The fact remains that does ECOWAS have any standby military? I know that after the war in Liberia, ECOMOG was dissolved. And so, as of today, ECOWAS does not have any um, you know, dedicated group of soldiers like ECOMOG that are on standby to go to Niger Republic. They will want what they want to do is that the member states will just nominate soldiers and pull them together, just like forming the ECOMOG again before they can go into Niger Republic. Are they ready for that? But again, that is not the issue now. The issue now is that um, uh, Nketia Asedu of Ghana has warned the president of Ghana, President Akufu Addo, not to send Ghanaian soldiers to any useless ECOWAS war against Niger to go and die there for nothing. So, and a lot of other Ghanaians, are, uh, there's a growing call in Ghana warning their president not to send their soldiers to Niger Republic. Just like Nigerians are saying, Tinubu should not send Nigerian soldiers to Niger Republic. So I wonder who in ECOWAS is going to fight that war. It means that that, is not, that war is not going to happen because people have seen that the Nigerians are happy with the coup. They want a change in their country and uh, they should be left alone to manage themselves. Magam. The NDC chairman, uh, Johnson Asiegbo Nketia, has warned President Nana Akufuado against deploying Ghanaian soldiers to Niger as part of an ECOWAS military intervention to restore democracy. Mr. Nketia criticized the proposed intervention as ill-considered and useless, urging Ghanaians not to participate. I am warning President Nana Akufuado and every Ghanaian against participating in this useless military exercise and jeopardizing the lives of Ghanaian soldiers, Mr. Nketia said in an interview on Accra Base Asempa FM on Thursday, 10th of August 2023. He equated subverting the will of the people to a coup d'etat, irrespective of whether it is a civilian or military act. Exactly uh, what we are saying, what um, Ibrahim uh, Mai Sule has said in Nigeria as well, that coup is not only when military goes in and takes over power, coup is also when a president overstays beyond what is constitutionally allowed, or coup is also when a president rigs himself to power you know, against the will of the people. Those are also form of coup. And those are those are the ones that should even give us more concern than the military coup. So ECOWAS leaders leaned towards the diplomatic uh, uh, solution, reserving military action as a last resort. The deadline for the junta to reinstate the elected president passed without a change, okay, with some neighboring countries supporting Niger's military, such as Mali and Burkina Faso. President Kufado has agreed uh, to echo our decision to deploy troops to reinstate Austed President Mohamed Bazoum. Okay, but again, uh, it's not going to work because if Nigeria is saying Nigeria should not send their people to that war, Ghana is also saying don't send our soldiers to that war. I'm sure very soon some other West African countries will follow suit and they'll begin to warn their president and uh, that idea will drop. So I see a situation where that even this structure will not even work. The Nigerians will end up solving their problem themselves. Again, that is exactly what they want. I have also seen a situation where President Putin of Russia has also warned ECOWAS that you know sending the military into Niger will escalate the situation and will spread the war. And I'm sure that is not what they want. Okay, <laughs> the Western world is ready to. So they are just preparing to sell their ammunition to West Africa to fight and kill themselves. That's exactly what the U.S. and France is going to do. 
And again, before you know it, Russia will come on the other end to support Niger and it becomes an escalated war that, uh, you know, similar to what happened in Ukraine or similar to what happened in Libya against Muammar Gaddafi or what happened in, in Syria and Lebanon will begin to play out here in Africa. And that is not what we want. We have a few comments here to share with uh, everyone. Uh, let's see what some people are saying. Somebody say Wagner and Russia is uh, her. Wagner and Russia is creeping to take control in the sub-region through coup d'état towards frustrating democracies. Mosquito diplomatic solution when the junta has shut its doors. Her. So, her. Jojo hanged on for 11 years, after which Mosquito and others glorified the constitutional rule. What does this mean? When Russia comes in, that will be indefinite. Okay? We should think far. Somebody say, yeah, Ghana should desist from war. ECOWAS should, should, be, should use economical power. It is people developmentally not to treacherously indulge in war against one another. Can you imagine? Just speaking to ECOWAS uh, policies. Okay, so I did not know. Okay, that some Ghanaians are very coward. Your child may not die by the bullet, but may die of poverty inflicted on him by the agents of imperialism, like those soldiers in Niger. Let be. Let me hope you were born after the military rules in your country. Soldiers cannot be an option to civilian rule. You don't understand. The sources are just speaking. Uh, first of all, find out why there is a coup and what can be done about it. Go to the root cause and not go in there to fight them because they are happy with the coup themselves. Okay. So let me say, your aura are the only yellow bellied coward here. Okay. <laughs> war is insanity, you vagabond idiot, war mongering fool. You better know that. You better know what time it is. Okay, I don't want to sorting people like this. Oh, wow. Mm. Igbos, why you people want your tribe to be president? Never in Nigeria. You people are tribalism. Can you, can you imagine? Somebody is speaking against the Igbos. Who is, is our, our are not tribalistic? Yorubas are even the worst tribal by God at this moment. So what do we have to say? Somebody said, what are the military in Nigeria waiting for? They should use this opportunity to strike and flush all these evil and corrupt civilians so that ECOWAS will now be in total disarray. Exactly. Nigerians are dying in the hand of bonfire. Please, you youth, we shall wake up against the evil leader. Exactly. Eh? Another guy says, Now you people go wake up, nothing concern us. We day awake since Naim make us no vote, bad governors. You people should carry your cross, don't involve us. Abi, when is Nigeria on coming? We are dying in the hands of the evil and wicked politicians. Of you, smart, you know. So it means that everybody is now calling for coup also to take place in Nigeria. And I'm sure it will happen in a matter of time. Except this change for better immediately.